Hi today from Kauai, from the most exotic Hawaiian island of Kauai. Today I will tell you about the difference between the millionaires and the billionaires. Stay with me till the end of this video. There will be a contest and something to win. I'm recording this video because I noticed in uh, comments, in um, uh, emails, many people uh, just use the terms millionaire and billionaire interchangeably. They don't see much difference between these two and uh, they seem to confuse these two terms. But the difference is humongous. This is a huge difference and I am talking here on this channel about billionaires with B not about millionaires and I want to tell you once again and I hope for the last time the difference between millionaires and billionaires and please don't confuse them in the future. So first of all how do we define what is a millionaire and a billionaire? We look at the net worth of these people. Net worth is the a value you have created in your business career, in your, um, uh, in your life. It is the value uh, of your assets uh, generally. Yeah, be it uh, real estate, be it your shares in your company, in other companies, be it uh, like some monetary assets maybe. So uh, all your assets put together, what is the value of them? If the value is $1 million or more, then you are called a millionaire with M. If the value is one billion dollar or more, then you are called a billionaire with B. So this is generally the, uh, the, the difference, but comparing these two is like comparing an ant with an elephant. The difference between them is three orders of magnitude. You could say millionaires are average, maybe even mediocre entrepreneurs. It is not a big deal to become a millionaire in business nowadays, especially with the value of money we have today. We are talking about, of course, about dollar millionaires and dollar billionaires. So, for example, in the States, one in 20 people um, in business are millionaires, right? In the broad society, among all people, on average in the world one in 500 people are millionaires so millionaires aren't that rare you probably know yourself or maybe you are a millionaire or you know somebody who is a millionaire it is not uh, that rare right but billionaires is a completely different species on average in the world only one in five million people is a billionaire so it is a very rare species. To meet a billionaire on a street by chance is like striking the main pot in the national lottery. So it is really rare event. And of course, the difference in scale is 1000 or three orders of magnitude. To make it clear for you, I will give you some examples. Let's say, we talk about hotels. You have a hotel, a nice hotel, you are usually a millionaire. Of course, if you don't have a huge debt uh, on top of that. But if you own a hotel without much debt, you are a millionaire. But a friend of mine, a Scandinavian a billionaire, Peter Thordalen, he owns 200 hotels and these are the very best hotels in Scandinavia. He owns the largest hotel chain in Scandinavia. It's called, it's called Nordic Choice. So this is the difference. Or if you own a factory, you are a multi-millionaire because alone to construct a factory, to build a factory, it takes several millions, maybe over 10 millions, even maybe 50 millions, depends on the factory. But a Canadian billionaire, Frank Stronach uh, uh, that I have interviewed that will be included in my book. He owns 400 factories in his company Magna. Magna is 
one of the largest auto parts manufacturers in the world. 400 companies, can you imagine this? Now, if you have a restaurant, if you have a good restaurant, or maybe two, three, five restaurants, you are for sure a millionaire. But my good friend, Australian billionaire, Jack Cohen, he owns 3,000 restaurants in his chains, Domino's Pizza and Hungry Jack's in Australia. 3,000 restaurants. Can you imagine that? This is just unimaginable. It's not also not manageable. Uh, personally, you can't even... Uh, I doubt he has been uh, to like uh, maybe one-tenth of his restaurants. He wasn't even there, but he owns them. But let me give you this one last example. If you own a grocery store, a big grocery store like, let's say, Safeway, you are a millionaire, you are probably a multi-millionaire. But a Russian billionaire that I have interviewed, that will be included in my book, Sergei Galitsky, he owns 15,000 grocery stores, 15,000 supermarts in his chain Magnet. Stores huge like football field, maybe bigger. 15,000. It's just out of this world. This is the largest uh, supermarket chain in Russia and probably right now also the largest in uh, in Europe. So this is the difference in magnitude, difference in scale uh, between uh, millionaires and billionaires and the art or the level of business they do. And to make it more tangible for you what it means, the difference between millionaire and billionaire, because these are just numbers, right? So for you to understand it better, I will tell you about a friend of mine who two years ago um, was maybe not bragging, but told me he made like $500,000 a year in that year, in that particular year. And since then he he's making that amount more or less also. So uh, he, uh, he is for sure a, a dollar millionaire, right? In dollars. So for many people, that amount of money is big money, $500,000 uh, um, a year. Of course, he is a millionaire meanwhile. But you have to understand, you have to realize that for him, in order to become a, a billionaire, he would have needed to be born before Christ, before Jesus Christ and be earning that money since then and putting away all the money without paying any taxes and without any inflation, he would have needed to do that in order for him to become a billionaire today. So he would have needed over 2000 years, would have needed to be born before Christ. Can you imagine this? And billionaires, the self-made people that I research, they do it just in one lifetime. This is amazing. This is just uh, crazy how fast they grow their companies, how quickly they create value and how quickly they become uh, extremely, extremely rich. But the largest difference between millionaires and billionaires is not the numbers, because numbers are just the manifestation of what they do, how they act, and first of all, how they think. So the main difference between them is the difference in psychology, the difference in their mentality, in their attitude towards business, towards money, how they approach things, how they approach business, how they approach problems, and how they act. And this exactly difference I have been researching for the last more or less four years traveling around the world and uh, interviewing self-made billionaires uh, around the world to find out what in their uh, psychology, what in their uh, personalities make them so extremely successful in business. And about these differences, about my results, I talk here on this uh, YouTube channel. But first of all, I am finishing a book about this topic it's called The Billion Dollar Secret, where I describe this difference in detail. The difference between average entrepreneurs 
and the world champions, the most successful entrepreneurs, the self-made billionaires of our world. So if uh, you are generally interested in that topic, you can get a free chapter here below uh, this video for that book and uh, get updates about the writing process, about the publishing process. So you will be informed when the, as soon as the book is published. I want to show you now here Westin in uh, Kauai, in Hawaii, how it looks like. So you see some ocean here, Pacific Ocean. I hope you like this video if yes give me a thumb up subscribe below and don't forget to hit the bell button i invite you to comment on that video here below let's uh, discuss about this topic what is your perspective what is your experience what is your opinion about the topics in this video Please share this video with your loved ones, with your friends. One day they will thank you for that. I talk here a lot about the billionaires, about the best entrepreneurs in the world, how they think and act. I have interviewed 28 self-made billionaires around the world and here I share the unique wisdom. I talk also a lot about cryptocurrencies, about my investment in cryptocurrencies and about doing the impossible, about my experiences in doing outrageous things and reaching seemingly impossible goals. I promised you a contest in the beginning. Let's do the following. Share this video on your social media with uh, the hashtag the billion dollar secret. Again, the billion dollar secret and add your comment to that or maybe a quote from this from this video we will monitor social media and i will choose uh, one share among the shares maybe the most creative the most effective share and the winner will get one copy of the best-selling book of the special edition of the book ready set go that i have written with uh, brian tracy it looks like this brian tracy is uh, the greatest business teacher in the world the uh, greatest personal performance trainer and uh, the winner will get this book together with my dedication my personal dedication for him so please share this video if you enjoyed this video you will certainly like my other videos i invite you to watch them that's it from Hawaii. I wish you a fantastic day. Let's do something extraordinary today.